So you can use Visual Studio to create web pages in the classic style. The classic style means that you have two pages. You've got a page that contains your form. And you have a page that the form is going to invoke. It is going to call this page. So over here on my form, I'm going to add HTML form tags. And I'll use the method get. And the action that will be to call my form handler that I just created. Now onto my HTML page. I will add a text box and a submit button. I'll give the text box a name and call it my data. This will get passed as the name of whatever I pass to my handler. So whatever information I enter will get called my data, bundled up and sent to my form handler. So let's take a look at my handler. And let's do something extreme here. Right here in the body tag, we're going to go ahead and use, we're just going to embed some server-side code with the use of the percent tags. And we will just write directly in here. Let's uh, modify the HTML a little. Background color equals, and then let's go to the request object, and we will grab the value of my data, which will be coming from that text box. And we'll test that out. Go to my form, view in browser, enter a color. submit it, and my page comes up that color. View source, and we see that the body tag was modified dynamically by the value I placed in the text box. Now this two-page model was very common, still is, as a way to get input from a user and then using that input produce a new page with results that depended upon that input. A .NET web form, however, does not depend upon this model to provide the user interface and that user experience of a user entering data and getting a page with results. So here, I'll add just a default page. And like before, I'll put a button and a text box. Now, looking at the source code here of the HTML, Notice my form tag is a bit different. And one significant difference is it does not have an action. It doesn't have a method either, but 
Note there's really, really there's no action. It's not calling another page. So what it's doing is it's resubmitting to itself. A form is going to submit. It's just going to call it the same page that the form was on. So again, when I have the scenario of a single page that I enter data and then another page that shows me a result set, that's really now just one page. And I don't have to think of it in any sort of multiple page terms. When I want to change the color of the background here, I'm entering the data into the text box and I'm going to change the background on the same page. Let's call this text box again. My data. I'm going to give my body tag a name. And I'm also going to give my body uh, run at equals server attribute. Now let's click the button, and my body is, has attributes. It's, it's HTML, and to those attributes, I'm going to add the background color attribute and set it to whatever's in the My Data Text Box's uh, text property. Okay. Save, view in browser. And here, I want to make it very plain what the differences are between the classic web development model and the new .NET web development model.